Hey guys, welcome back. This is Grenlam G, and welcome back to my top 10 series. In this episode, we'll be talking about the top Xbox 360 games of all time. Now, these games are just games that you thought that were epic, and uh, pretty brilliant games, really, when you played them. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, this is my preference. I mean, I may have left some games out. It's, you know, when you're thinking of them on the spot, it's... Uh, it's pretty hard, really. Uh, and then once you've done it, you're like, oh yeah, I remember. It's this game, that game, that game. Oh, oh, oh. But, yeah, I think I've done this list good and justifiable. But, yeah, so we'll be talking about that. And, uh, yeah, so shall we crack on with the um, list, I think. And before I start, please uh, like and comment and uh, subscribe. And then I'll do more videos and gives me more confidence to do more and more videos and maybe more walkthroughs and things like that. Uh, and yeah, cheers guys. Anyway, let's uh, crack on and uh, get the show on the road then. So, here we go. At number 10, we have Skate 2. Now, I love the Skate franchise. All of them are brilliant. And I just wish if they would make uh, a Skate 4 for maybe next gen, I think that would be pretty damn awesome. But if you haven't played any of the Skates, then I suggest it's well worth getting one of the copies, Skate 1, Skate 2, Skate 3, and playing them out. Because they're pretty brilliant games, and they've got their, their own uniqueness to them, with uh, using the analog sticks as tricks and skits and things like that. And they're a pretty cool game. Anyway, at number 9, we have Mass Effect 2. Now, I've never played Mass Effect 1 or 3. I've heard the third one is a bit crap and a bit of a letdown. And they're making a fourth one for next gen, so that could be pretty cool and a new take. Um, but I loved Mass Effect 2, you know, exploring the different galaxies, exploring different worlds, and the fact that you get to choose your own team and choose your own path, and, you know, you can get drunk and dance and... You have a choice of fucking blue aliens and things like that. <laughs> but I thought this game was really good. Um, bit of a shame, spoiler alert, that you die at the end of the game. Um, but you get reincarnated in the third one. And then you choose like your own face. You can choose different face if you want and rechange your whole structure or whatnot. But... This game, I thought, was brilliantly done. Uh, I loved it and it intertwines with... All three. I don't know how the fourth one is going to be planned out because at the end of the third one, like everything gets wiped out. Well, there's three different endings, but you know, I'm curious. Let me know what you guys think the fourth one's going to be. I'm a bit curious, you know. I think it's mainly just a different story, but here we go. Anyway, at number eight, we have Battlefield. Now, I love Battlefield just because of the realisticness of it and. Sometimes I prefer it to Call of Duty because Call of Duty has turned into a bit of noobish now where it's just a bunch of people running around with uh, grenades and things like that. I think they've kind of sussed it out, you know, so there's no noobs. But I love like the fact that the maps are long and when you have a sniper rifle, when you're shooting from far distance, it actually hits the person, whereas from Call of Duty it doesn't. And if in Call of Duty you've got a guy hiding around a wall, you just blow the fuck out that wall and go through it or blow him up. And I just love this game. And I love Bad Company 2. And hopefully they'll make a Bad Company 3 for the next gen. I think that'll be pretty cool, you know. Because I loved the Battlefield Bad Company. Um, I thought the game was epic. I loved the ending scene mm -hmm. where you're jumping out of the helicopter or the, the plane, sorry. And you're like skydiving. I thought that was epic, epic scenario. But yeah, this game is sick as I loved playing it. So at number seven, we have a fun game, Crackdown. Now, Crackdown for me was a brilliant game. It was enjoyable. I mean, the storyline was pretty simple. You just got to get rid of fucking crime in the city. It can be quite hard at sometimes, but you can level up. So you can be like a sort of superhero at the end. So you can level up your jumping, your cars, your shooting skills. I always like to uh, see how far I could jump from one building to the next, see what my furthest jump could be, and try and jump to the furthest building I could. And uh, loved getting all the um, 
you know, little power-ups and things like that. And when you kill, you're constantly moving up, moving up. Haven't played the second one, but they're making a third one, which will be quite cool on next gen. I, um, yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Number six is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, for me, Call of Duty Modern Warfare was a brilliant series. I didn't play the third one, but... I played one and two and I loved the f second one and I think everybody did I think at the time everybody had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and the campaign on it was brilliant it had me in it and I think I even completed it in the first like three four hours that I got it very short but it was a brilliant game if you haven't played it play it at number five we have a fantastic horror game Dead Space now, for me, Dead Space was unique, it was awesome, and I'll tell you what, if you played this game with Oculus Rift, with headphones, late at night, with all the lights turned off, you would probably piss yourself, you'll probably shit yourself, you'll probably cry in your sleep for weeks on end. This game is fantastic. Shame that it went downhill on the series, uh, but this game is fantastic. Play it. Number four, we have a favourite of mine, Far Cry 3. Now, all the Far Cry's were good, but Far Cry 3 was epic. <laughs> Mind-blowing epic, with some tough decisions to make, whether to kill your friends or not. Because it's basically about, you know, you go on holiday and these group of teenagers, they get kidnapped and whatnot. And uh, you escape, and you and your friend, you're mate gets killed i think he's your brother in fact and you're like fuck and then your friends are captured and then you go on a quest to save them uh, and it was a brilliant game lots of hard choices to make um loved it can't wait to play the fourth one i'll probably do a walkthrough when i get it which would be awesome uh yeah and I've just the fourth one looks fucking amazing but this game loved it uh and it was a brilliant game brilliant game loved it Okay, so number three, we have a massive favourite of mine, Bioshock. Now, I've never played Bioshock Infinity, and apparently it's actually pretty good. Uh, Bioshock 2 was alright, but for me, Bioshock, the first one, was brilliant. I loved the game. It had such a new, unique newness to it and it was brilliant nothing like i've ever played before and as horror games goes it was probably one of the best horror games i played as well as dead space and you know it was it, it, you know, it's just brilliant you know i was a bit sad that they didn't take it back to rapture when i heard that they'd gone to the fucking clouds but hey ho they may bring one back you know back to rapture who knows anyway number two is a brilliant game, Gears of War. Now, Gears of War is probably one of the first games I ever played on Xbox 360, and I loved it. I loved the executions, you know, when you can chainsaw your enemy and their guts go everywhere. When you get long shot, which is the sniper rifle, it's <laughs> mashing their head in with it. I loved the characters, loved the storyline. It was brilliant. I haven't played the third one, and I need to play the third one to finish off my series. I'm not too fast about the fourth one. Let me know if the fourth one's any good. Is it good, Judgment, or is it a bit, you know, shit? Apparently they're going to bring out a fifth one for next gen, which would be pretty insane. I think they probably dragged out the series too much, if you ask me, but... I loved Gears of War. Gears of War spent hours of fun on it, and it was just one of those games where you could just, you know, you just loved, you just loved it. It was just brilliant. And if you haven't played it, I strongly suggest you go get a copy and play it from one to fucking three. And if you want to play the fourth one, play the fourth one. What the hell? But this game is brilliant. And the Berserkers were fucking mean as fucking scary. Chasing after you like a mad dildo. Anyway, at number one, I have to say it's got to be the game that has sold the most in the Xbox 360 genre. The game that is straight hands down, it's brilliant. It's the most famous game in the world, probably. And it's, well, probably is actually. And the most expensive game ever made uh, in the history of gaming. It is brilliant storyline meant to be like Shakespeare of gaming you know it has to be Grand Theft Auto 5 now I love this game I did think that the campaign was a little bit short but the game itself was brilliant hands down no flaws I love the three 
protagonist, Michael Franklin Trevor. I'm not sure who I like more. I do like Fra Trevor because he's, you know, a bit crazy and all that. But I'd probably go with Michael. He, yeah, he's a bit of businessman, family man and everything. I have a girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. But, yeah. This game was brilliant. Uh, the music was good. I think, you know, they they put a lot of hype into the ocean. Like they're saying, okay, there's just as much as you can do in the ocean as you can do inland. But then when you went into the ocean, it was the same boring old shit we've seen before, where it was just bland old crap. Now, I know that they've updated it on the PS4 version, with loads of clusters of, like, whales and stuff, but they don't really attack you, they just, like, run away from you. Like, there's a cluster of hammerhead sharks, and you swim up to them, and they don't do anything, they're like your best friend. It's fucking awful. It would be awesome if you could, like, jump in, and then... That cluster of, you know, hammerhead sharks went and attacked you, and you had to that, that would actually bring some more fun and entertainment into it than rather you just swimming around a bunch of fucking fish that want to huddle you or be your friend or nudge you. It's like in real life, I guarantee you, if I was swimming in a pool of fucking hammerhead sharks, they'd fucking eat me. Now, the exceptionals. Now, the exceptionals are, I would say L.A. Noir, Noir, but I've never played that game. But I've heard that it's brilliant. I'd say Skate 3, Beautiful Calamari, uh, and Resident Evil 5, 7, 6, 5, 6, I think it's 5 or 6. It was a brilliant game. Um, and yeah, it was. It, those are the exceptionals. I think, I, if I've missed any, just... Big my pardon, I may have skipped a few, um, it's just that I did, I've done it, and you know it's quite hard to think of them when you're actually doing it, and at the end you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that game, that's awesome, but I can't go back. I think the list was alright, um, so just let me know if you can think of any other games that you think were exceptional, we're in the area of, or still in the area of Xbox 360. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that includes my um, video tutorial, not, not video tutorial, that includes this episode of um, of my top 10 series, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, I can't, I can't stress enough, thank you for uh, watching um, my video, and thank you for listening and um, what not. And please subscribe, please like, please comment, please let me know what you think. Please, if you have any views on what you think, what um, what game I should play, or do like a, a scary game or whatnot, or, you know, uh, whether or not I should do another, just give me some insight or something, yeah. So anyway, yeah, cheers, thank you, and I'll see you in the next vid. Alright, see ya, peace.